Hello and welcome to the sixth part of the Morisco video tutorial series. In this video, we will show you how to connect the elements of the systemic situation model. In a complex system, most elements do not act in isolation, but interact with each other in ways that lead to the functioning of the system in the first place. In this step, you can identify the connections between the different elements in the systems under consideration. The connections can be between elements of the same category or between adjacent categories. Sometimes, feedback loops result through these connections. This means that elements in a system are influenced by others that influence them themselves. This can lead to self-reinforcement of processes, so-called positive feedback, or self-control, also called negative feedback. To create a new connection between the elements, first select on the left column the element category of the element from which the connection originates. Then, on the right column, select the element category of the influenced element. Click on the plus button to create a new connection. In the first menu, you will see all the elements of the selected category. In the second menu, you have the option to specify the strength of the connection according to the following options. Very weak, weak, strong, very strong. You can also mark connections as uncertain if you are unsure if the connections even exist. You have the possibility to edit or delete the connections. The connections are automatically transferred to the systemic situation model by the software. The calculation of the systemic activity is also done automatically. The systemic activity is calculated by first counting the number of incoming and outgoing connections for each element. Then, the activity of each element is calculated according to the number of influenced elements. From these two values, the total systemic activity of the element is determined. The systemic activity is also included in the calculation of the strategic relevance, which we will cover in the next video tutorial. 